Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir with my Windows PowerShell 6.0 overview. At this time, I am going to record all of my commands by using a PowerShell 6.0 command. So, you will be able to see my output file where you see every single command. I am going to use start dash transcript command. You have to mention the path where you want to save. I made a PS folder at current this location in S drive. My commands.txt will be the notepad where you will see every single output from this PowerShell screen. Let's go and look at services on local computer. This is my local computer. The host name is LMSNY as you saw it at the beginning. Now you can count with brackets dot count. You can see how many services I have on my local computer. 180 as you can see at the left side. Let's see services on a remote computer by using a minus computer name switch. The remote is R2. A-R-E-2 is the host name. So here you can see those all services on my remote computer. We also can ping to see the connectivity. Let's ping. By default, you will see an output of IPv6. If you want to see IPv4, you just uh, add minus 4 switch so you can see IPv4 address. Also, I am mentioning here the command on the top on this screen. So let's go to the last command, get dash service, where you can pipe where object clause. Using curly braces, we are using dollar underscore dot status so we will see all running services now you can repeat the same command with all stopped services so this is all on my local computer you can also use a format dash table and auto view you can see now you can see here we have three columns so we can see each column as a sort object so you can sort as display name or name or status so i am going to repeat those commands back with a different order so now i am changing from status to name so we are now sorting through the name which is my middle column so you can see the alphabetically I am replacing these three columns with my sort order. Let's go and take a look. Display name now. So keep in mind everything is being recorded at the back end because I am using start dash transcript command now you just saw that I was able to review this now through the display name which is my last column get dash command will give you all commands because I'm using PowerShell 6.0 this is gonna take a while because the output will be longer than what you can expect through PowerShell 5.1, 5.0, 4.0 or 3.0 because we are going to count these all output rows approximately 20,000s. I would say 19,900 etc. Little change. So these many commands gonna come back in Windows PowerShell 6.0 version when you want to look at those commands. So the one thing is that these are a lot of commands. How you can review these commands? You can pipe it and you can use uh, out dash and you can uh, send out to a file or a notepad or CSV file. You also can use a, a greater than sign space and then you can add the path uh, such as c colon backslash, backslash 
etc a file name with the csv or rtxt extension or you can basically use a grid view to view in a grid so you can send out file as a grid view but i am going to show you these all commands now at the end of this demo so now uh, let's count that how many commands do we have in powershell 6.0 so same method you can count using a get dash command under brackets so the output is 19,934 so literally we have a 20,000 uh, command so it is not very simple it is not very easy to go through these all on screen so we actually can view these commands because we are recording so we can see these all commands uh, the location where we have recorded this so ip config will give you the ip address of all of your network cards you can now stop the transcript so i have stopped the transcript the good thing is powershell 6 is that you can see these color coded so here is the transcript recorded the output file this is just a notepad uh, almost two megabyte because we have thousands and thousands and thousands of rows over 20,000 rows definitely so whatever we had in powershell from start dash transcript to the end of this demo you will see these all commands and exactly output so we have 180 services on this computer running uh, this number will not change if you go back and check uh, powershell 5.x or previous versions but get dash command will change so because uh, i did updates on my powershell 6 this is my host name local computer name lms ny so you will see that i was trying to go into a different computer are2 to look at services i have seen those services these services are coming from my remote computer then i went into that computer using ping command to see the connectivity now we displayed services using uh, different methods we sorted them through status through the name and through the display name so you have seen whatever was done in the powershell window everything is right over here so very simple you can go back review these commands you can delete output just get the commands only because you can review you can redo it again you can go back to the powershell screen and do it again so this is just a start just to give you an overview so how you can record how you can keep things in a loop so you can do whatever you can do easily so keep watching i am coming back with a lot of more powershell scripting videos thank you this is anayat mir I hope to see you soon. Bye.